tawag dito around the world. Wow! Hindi uh, natin kaya yun, Wing Nation. Wala tayong coordination. Eh. <laughs> Paano sir? Can you teach me? Can you teach me? Can you stand and balance on one leg and get the ball then? Kaya lang just tap, tap. Hindi natin makuha ito, Wing Nation. Ah. <laughs> hey! Hey! <laughs> Wing Nation, this is really fun. Parang... Ah, pero... <laughs> Panis, Wing Nation. Panis. <laughs> We're just gonna unpack Wing Nation, yung mga supplement ni Sir Matt and ni Mang Celeste. So yan, we have here a uh, clear, new, new clear whey protein yun. and then a hydro BCAA. Ano? What is what is the BCAA really? Really for uh, it's usually used intra workout during workout. During it, right? so it can be free, post, and intra. Yeah, yeah. Actually, we, when we work out, kasi nagana tayo, di ba? Naglulus tayo ng muscle. Dahil ano, bisira natin mga muscle fibers natin. Dalawa lang naman yan, Wiggy Nation eh. Either we're building muscle or we're losing muscle. Okay? So, ang ginagawa ng BCA is binabawasan niya or pinipigilan niya, pinapabagal niya yung pagma muscle loss natin. By providing protein. Yeah, pr by providing the ano, essential BCAA. amino acids. Yes. Oh, yeah. So BCAA has been absorbed by muscle faster than normal whey protein. Yeah. So another one, Wing Nation, na katulong din sa recovery natin. And ako personally, kapag talagang may BCAA ako during workout, mas matagal talaga yung endurance ko. Yung mga bits na pagod. Now let's talk about the clear clear protein. Best time talaga to drink whey protein is right after an exercise. So, kasi mayroon tayong tinatawag na window, di ba? Pinaka na-absorb daw ng katawan natin ng protein right after. Well, pero may mga nag-dispute daw yung nation. May mga nagsasabi din na, No, not really. Inumin, inumin mo siya anytime as long as na-reach mo yung macros. Yung macros mo. Yung kailangan mong requirement in a day. But for me, you have nothing to lose by following the window. By drinking it right after the workout. But you have something to lose if you don't follow it. Yeah, rule of thumb, every after workout, you should be intaking carbs right away. Okay, so you should replenish your carbs so you can do more after. Especially if you do uh, two workouts in a day, or if you're doing a long yep, run or marathon, yes, you should be replenishing your carbs right away. Rule of thumb also, you should be drinking protein after 30 minutes so you can repair your muscles right away. So if you delay those process, it might affect your performance the next day or the things in the following days. This is like the building blocks. Pwede mong sabihin na BCA is like the glue. Yeah. So you can have that during workout and then after. Yeah. The... Yes. And then, the good thing about the BCA is it has zero calories. Yeah. On whey protein, somehow, it still has calories. So BCA will help your protein intake by letting your muscle absorb it faster. So, so for, if, for example, nakukuha mo na or you're already meeting your protein requirement, by regular food alone, you don't, need. you don't actually need any more whey protein. Yeah, it will if, be converted into fat. Yeah, if you're already meeting it, but that's hard. But if you are, and you just need help with your recovery, uh, keeping your muscle, more endurance during your workouts, then this the supplement is really the one for you because it has zero calories. And take note, uh, if you follow your macros, it's really hard to hit your protein, okay? So most people think they're hitting their protein, which is not. Pero they're over hitting their carbs and fat. That's why most people are still fat. Yeah. They're complaining, oh, I'm eating right now, man. Why am I not losing weight? Because you don't have enough protein so you can perform more. So you can burn those carbs and fats. So like, since for me, it's really hard to build protein and build muscle, I can get both. Yeah, remember when we were tracking your macros, I've been saying you have to hit your macros. You have to hit your protein. Because you want, if you want to lean out, if you perform more, you have to hit your protein. And if you notice, if you notice your training, nyo, you're working hard, but it's taking too long, or maybe you're not gaining strength at all, big chance is because you're not you're lacking, yeah. you're, you're lacking protein. So even athletes, uh, um, even uh, normal people, it's really hard to hit your, your protein. Even Justin takes a lot of whey protein every day. Yeah, I drink uh, two or three scoops every day. So that's like already 75 grams of protein. Three scoops is 75 grams of protein. That's only 390 calories. 
that's really low for 75 grams of protein. Mm -hmm. But you also have to consider, you also have to buy the product that have low sugar. Okay, so most whey protein have very high sugar as well. So that's going to be a disadvantage on your part. So if you're buying a, a quality whey protein, which you can get in Whey King, you can, uh, you can get the, the, the best protein shake ever. Oh, by the way, uh, itong clear protein, Whey Nation, what's really good about this whey protein is hydrolysate is the fastest absorbing protein out there. Uh, some call it ano, pre digested whey protein. For those of you guys who are lactose intolerant, this is very good. This is very good because the process of yung pag hydrolyze, tinatanggal na yung lactose. And to be honest, I like this brand kasi hindi siya matamis. Hindi siya ganun katamis, hindi nakakasuya. So I highly recommend this brand also. Um, tastes really good but not overwhelming. Awesome. So, Sir Matt, tingin ko, tikman mo na. Oh my. <laughs> Set number three, Arnold's oh. presses. So assess if you have the first set, but if not, let's add more reps. Or wait, 8 to 10 reps for the presses. Okay guys, so mukhang exciting tong naging first Valentine's nila. Ano do? Ano yun sir? Think? Paragliding. Parang nasa parachute. Paragliding. Nasa parachute kami, inaano ng barko. Inihila. Oh, no. oh so yeah. you are afraid of heights. Yeah. I'm so afraid of heights, but he keeps telling me to do things that I'm afraid of. <laughs> so he inspires you, something like that. Right? He forces me. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa. But yeah, it's nice. So it's, you know? it's like a good influence to you because, di ba? Parang pinupush kanya na i-conquer yung fears mo. Wait, after... Yeah, yeah, if you wanna say it in a nice way, <laughs> I guess. I would say he pushes me to the dangerous things. <laughs> so, but at the end of the day, it's fun. Actually, Wiggy Nation, nakwento nila sa akin before na isa sa mga hobby rin nila currently is yung hiking, right? That's what I meant. That's it's really dangerous. <laughs> Alam mo, Waking Nation, ang take ko dyan, kailangan talaga natin gawin yun. Kailangan yung ginagawa natin with our loved one. Medyo exciting. Para hindi ma-board sa atin. Di ba? Okay guys, next, let's, let's proceed to our next part. 100 meter sandbag bear hog carry. So that's 10 laps, down and back. And then hollow rocks. Are you guys familiar with hollow rocks? This is the regular hollow rock. The main goal is to round our lower back. Make sure it's in contact with the floor. So even if you raise your legs and raise your arm, if your lower back is not in contact with the floor, it's no, there's no use. You're not doing it right. So you need to be in this position, okay? But sometimes when your legs are fully extended, arms fully extended, it's hard. Yeah. So yeah. what you can do is to bend your knees. So it's, e it's easier to round your back. With the then, back? One. No. Two. Okay. 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 And then just rock, rock back and forth. So every round, the distance of the sandbag carry uh, decreases by 20 meters. So 100, 80, okay. 60, okay? And then for round one, it's hollow rocks. Round two, it's sit-ups. Round three, it's toes to bars. For you, do you do knee tucks? Oh, hanging knee tucks? Yeah. And then round four, you go back to anchored sit-ups. So 20, and then last, you go back to hollow rocks. Waking Nation, ready na ba kayo? Mafall. <laughs> Weighing Nation, sino ba naman hindi mo motivate, di ba? Kada rep ng setup, 
Nakaka-holding hands mo yung loved one. As much as possible, we try and target five times a week. That you work out. It's hard. I try and at least move. You know, at least two, three times a week. Kung, kung, kung work out, oh. at least move. Uh -oh. yeah, yeah. So either just walking my dog or going on a hike. What's your height? Uh, six foot one. Six, six one. Yeah. And then what's your weight? Uh, one, one eighty pounds. For a guy, his height, medyo ano, linyon, kasi eight or eighty, one eighty. I'm also around 180 waking and I'm only 5'7". My weight like flop weight from 175 to 180. So down. I would suggest if you want to be as ripped as him and you have the same height as him, you need to reach his weight. And drink lots of protein. Lots of protein. So that's one of your advices sa mga co-athletes mo. Yeah. Drink it's actually a recent advice that I've learned from, from Metcon. Yeah, ginagawa mo yung workout side. You can't rebuild your muscles. If you don't have building blocks, even if you don't have a waking nation, you don't have whey protein, it's hard for you to build muscle. Ma'am Celeste, how about you? How tall are you? 5'8". 5'8", and what's your weight? I think I am 52, 53 kilos. 52, 53? Yeah. Were you lighter before when you won Miss Earth? Oh yeah, I was really skinny but no muscles at all because I wasn't working out. I was only like 50 kilos. So what can you tell our girl viewers, our lady viewers, who are afraid of getting bigger? Uh, that they shouldn't be afraid because also what I learned here is that me, because me too I was afraid that the more I use weight the more I'm gonna get big but actually you're gonna get leaner and as long as you watch also your diet then there's no need to be afraid of getting big. Yeah. So it's really our diet we need. Yeah, and training. Beach or mountain? Forget this one. Beach. Beach. How yeah. about you? Yeah, probably beach. Ah, bagay, bagay talaga siya. Sir Matt, uh, boobs or butt? Um, the heart. The heart. Yeah. Kaya naka, kaya naka pag, kaya naka ko ng beauty queen. Magaling sa magot. Idol, idol, idol. Kaya naka ko ng beauty queen. Ah, Mam Celes, how about you? Ah, uh, abs or biceps? Abs. Abs. Ah, oh, really? I don't share with you because I'm so excited to buy it from Sir Matt. You know, here in the Philippines, football is not that common. So when we see someone who is so good at the ball with his feet, he's so good at the ball. Disclaimer, Waking Nation, it's not the truth of football. It's just basketball. Sir, can you show us the Waking Nation? Okay, okay. It's called here, around the world. Hindi natin kaya yun, Waking Nation. Wala tayong coordination. Paano sir? Can you teach me? Can you teach me? Basic. Basic, basic. So you stand and balance on one leg and get the ball then just tap, tap. O, parang pistols lang yan. Tingnan natin, tingnan natin. Mukhang hindi natin makukha to, Waking Nation. Eh, eh! Nakaisa tayo, Waking Nation. Are you left footer? I think I'm not sure. Yeah. He's a left footer. Because he's going to go again. Oh, he's going to left. Oh, he's still on the right foot. Yeah. Waking Nation, this is really fun. Parang dit. Ah, pero. Panis, Waking Nation. Panis. All right, Waking Nation. That's it. Hopefully, you enjoy guys the episode natin ngayon. Ah, sana hindi kayo na inget. Sa mga napalod yung like me. Oh, naman Waking Nation. Tapos naman di tayo sad boy. Masaya tayo for them, di ba? Yun lang. Thank you very much for watching and sure, thank you sa ating beautiful couple, Sir Matt and Bam Celeste. Thank you.
So, Wiki Nation, if you have any comments, suggestions, just let us know in the comment section down below. Please like this video, share this video. Until next time. Yeah. Bye, Sam. Um,